Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Beyond. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing good. We are ready to get going here again today. Last episode we just kind of run around showed everybody what was kind of going on. Today, well since last episode we've had a few things happen. One, actually let's go to sleep before we come out here because I want to want to show you all uh, I have updated the pack since the last time we played and oh let me tell you I have lost millions and millions of items and it's made me quite angry almost enough to where I was about ready to quit um, but I didn't we got things straightened back out getting them again I'll show you what happened but since the last episode we have added this we have upgraded to a tier 8 energy ball. Our uh, nether star generators down there are humping away. And I have also created these Draconic solar panels. They are generating 100 and, about 160 RF a tick um, when they are, you know, at the peak time of day. So when they're all going, we're generating about 2.1 million RF. So we have got a ton of power and we're going to need it here eventually so but as far as updates as you can see this will be a little bit easier to see over here our uh, they updated the quantum storage and when i did the or did the uh, update to the pack it deleted almost everything that were in these things i lost all my gold all these ingots all the uh, oak that I had, um, all this stuff basically on this side um, deleted out. I don't know why, I don't know what happened. We also lost all of our glass. We had like 1.3 million pieces of glass. Uh, sand was way up there. So we we're more or less starting over from scratch on those items. But I got them all straightened out and going back again. So that is going. Um, I've also had some weird problem with our um, with power. I don't know what it's going on. I've got all these um, flux points and all the... Um, flux plugs set to where they will transfer an infinite amount of energy um, but when I run everything off of one of these plugs the quarry wasn't getting enough power and with quarry not getting enough power our uh, fusion injectors weren't getting enough power either so but I've created a second channel and the second channel seems to run those two fine along with all the other stuff also I don't know um, what the issue was there uh, nothing's changed down here the only other thing that we have changed since the last episode I may have done I got started on some of the auto crafting I don't know I think I showed this uh, this is just for making gears um, some of them I haven't put all of them in there um, oh no the other thing I, you know, the whole process of doing this playthrough is we are learning, or doing, um, wanting to automate everything that we can. Uh, I have found out that you can automate the resignator from extra utilities too. All you've got to do is point a crafter into it and hook up an importer from it to suck the items out. And that's all you've got to do. It's smart enough to realize, hey, this item's being put in and this item's what needs to be put out. So that's all you got to do. So when if we sit here and let's say we want to make, whoops, come on here, make some red coal. Um, we can just click on this, start it up. And as you can see, it puts the items in there pretty quick and it's sucking them out pretty quick. <coughs> excuse me um, now we've got a ton of grid power going so that is why am I not flying here 
um, that is helping as far as with the speed of everything goes. And also with the red coal, one thing that I did not know, the more grid power you have, the longer that it lasts. So that's something that we're going to look into as we are getting to work today. First thing we're going to do is shut this thing off. Uh, we're going to be down here working. We are going to start working on setting up some automation for our uh, Batania stuff. So let us empty this out. I want to get uh, at least the um, living stone and the living wood set up for automation using refined storage. We're not going to... Um, basically the way I'm going to do it is to set it to where we keep you know a stack or two of each one of them in the system that way we don't have to wait for them to be crafted it'll just automatically craft when we need it to work so the items that we are going to need I should have them already done up we need where are they at we need these detectors We need relays, which I thought I made them, but I guess I didn't. Um, no. So let's head back upstairs right quick and make us a couple of relays. All right. Relays right here. And I don't have redstone torches. There's one. We need two of these. Really? Never have anything that I need. It's alright. It'll make that stuff up pretty quick. Relay, relay, relay. There we go. One of those. One of these. And there we go. And we are going to need, I don't know if we'll need all the cable, but we'll take a bunch of it with us. Alright, so, down we go. Alright, so we've got cable run over this way. We're going to set this up over here in the corner. We want, trying to think of exactly how I want this set up. I don't want it at ground level. I think I want it that high. Maybe. Now nah, let's put it at ground level. Alright, so we're going to dig out down here. I really need to use something other than this thing to mine this thing. Oh, I've also made and upgraded a Draconic Bow. Um, so we've got that. We're going to be getting into going and fighting the Chaos Dragon pretty soon here. We'll just go ahead and use this. Turn on the magnet. Alright. So we're going to have everything at this level here. So first thing we want to do is put the destructors down. What these will do is they will delete, or not delete, but they will break the item as we get it in the system. I'm going to have to dig us down one more level here. And we'll come back and church this up afterwards. So, we want to set a filter on this. We're going to make this one the living rock. Um, I know I've got some. Uh, what did I do with it all? Oh, I know where it's at. It's in here. Alright, so, 
let's get this out we can put this in here put one in each one of them this will make it so where it will only break said item and there we go so there we go now we got that set up on the top here we will set up that that will set up or we'll place any of we'll place the stone I'm having a hard time doing this today uh, it will place the stone down we'll place a piece of dirt right here it will change it over and we will get our living rock and I broke the wrong one there we go alright so now that's all connected so the next thing we need to do is run a cable I think we're gonna control all this from the bottom so we put that there that should connect and control both of them and We can put our relay down here. We want this to work on a redstone signal. We can put this here. We want it to detect. We'll do 128. That's two stacks. And we want it to emit, see emit a signal when on the amount, above the amount, under the amount. And we want it to admit that. Alright. Let's do a little bit of clearing out here so I can run this up to... This should take me right in here, which will in turn get me to over here, which is where all of my other cables are. All right, so we'll have to get our witherless throws out here in just a minute so we don't take that damage. All right, give me just a moment, and I will be right back. All right, we are back. So this should have everything needed done that we need to get done here. So let us go ahead and we want to get our witherless rows out here so we don't have any issues with having to listen to my armor get beat up. We will run the cable. back here oh come on all right there we go now we're connected This is all working. Alright, so now we got to tell this thing exactly how to make living rock. I had one of them there brain farts. All you got to do is put the stone in the top of it. We want to get, it's not going to do anything, I want to put a overgrowth seed in here. These will help our pure daisies grow faster. That's not going to work because that is not a piece of grass but we do have grass blocks let's get rid of some of this stuff all right grass block oh 
overgrowth seed and there we go now that should work as we need it to so let's give this thing here just a minute and we'll make sure that it does so basically this should turn to living stone suck it into the system and then replace it and it should keep doing that until it turns every or turns two stacks worth into the stone <coughs> nice that worked so while this is going on I'm going to set up our next system which is going to be a uh, pain to do because I have got to make some more of these things I need seven of these which one did I make That's right. I'm going to craft that stuff up. I'm going to get this other one set up. And then when I get it done, I will bring you guys right back. All right. We are back. I have got everything hooked up. This should switch and start up. Let us check the status of that. So we've got 199. That should be finishing pretty soon. Did that just finish? No. There it goes. So there it goes. Takes care of any of our living rock and living wood that we need to take care of, which is great. So our next item of business is going to be to start generating some mana. Yes, I will go back after we get done here to fill up this floor. Um, so we're going to be using, for now at least, good old endo flames. We're going to set up 20 of them. Or somewhere thereabout. And I'm going to have to start making sure that I leave my magnet off when I am around the base. Alright, so. We want grass blocks for this. That should be enough to get us at least started and going. Um, we're going to have all the mana going to this pool. And I believe we're going to set up another room right below it. That will have our portal, have our um, terror steel production, and any other item that we are going to be using for... Um, uh, uh, for any kind of automation that we're going to do, I want to automate uh, mana, you know, all the different mana pearls, all that stuff. So, let us go up here. First thing we are going to need. You see, I'm getting some serious, serious lag. Um, let's get some of this stuff out of our inventory. We don't need that pattern. Um, so I need to make some open crates. Those are made from living wood planks. Uh, 
and we need if we had 20 flowers we need 14 of these and it would help if I put those in there that's nine <coughs> excuse me 10, 11, 12, 13. Really? Alright, 14. So there we go. Now, we want... Trying to figure out how I want to do this. Usually I just use droppers to drop these things down. I may use... I tell you what, I'm going to work on a couple different setups here and try to figure out which one is going to be better. And then when I get it figured out, I will bring you guys back. Alright, we are back. I have decided to just go ahead and use uh, our... Uh, Just decided to go ahead and use droppers instead of the open crates. And I am now looking. Where did I come in here at? Right here. Should be able to go right here. And that we got us another cable. So we are going to set this up with some item content. We're going to put an exporter on here. See if I've got one. I should. I do. And I need some cable. And we need some blaze rods. Now this is going to be more or less just kind of a temporary setup. I want to do something bigger and a lot more um, uh, involved than what this is. Uh, it's just right now, um, I, just trying to get, we need to get into sparks and stuff like that. And so the easiest way to do this is just go ahead and start getting our basic mana production done and letting it run and just being done with it for now. Um, so that's kind of where we are with that. I need to put that torch back up because some of this stuff is lit up and some of it are, is covered with our mega torch and some of it is not. Alright, so that should be hooked up. This should be getting blaze rods in it. Let us cover this hole back up. And we want to, actually I should have in my system, stack upgrade, I do. Uh, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, or that, or that, or that. And we should have some speeds. Let's put that in there, that and that. That should, oh yeah, that'll fill that up a lot quicker. And I should have some more item conduit made up now. I didn't even make the item conduit. We want to make a stack. Let's give that just a minute. And while we were waiting on that, let's go up here and tell our system to make... some mana spreaders and we need the basic mana spreader we need to figure out which flower we have the most of and that would be orange so we want to tell this to be able to make that and we want to tell it 
to be able to make that. So let's go down here and put this in our crafters and we should be able to craft these things up. Uh, there we go, there we go, and doop. Let's craft four of them. Easy enough. Oh, one thing else we didn't make. We need us a wand of the forest. There we go. I always forget where to go down here. Alright, so we want to set that one there. We want to connect that to that. We'll connect this. To there. Um, we will put one right here in the middle. Or in the middle ish. Actually, let's put this one with that one. And we'll put that one right there. Get that one going there. Oh. Getting a little too quick at this. There we go. And there we go so now all these are done these are ready to start making mana all we need to do is connect all of these up we should have our item conduits <clears throat> did I forget to do it again let's give this thing a minute I'll be right back all right, we are back. So it is time. We need to set up a timer for this. We are going to set this up for, let's see here. Blaze rods have a burn time of 2400. Let's just go ahead and put this on 2400. And be done with that. Our item conduit should be done now. Really? Why is this not crafting my item conduit? Because I didn't teach it one other step. So let's cancel all this. Let's go back in here. Let's look up our item conduit. We didn't teach it. No? We've taught it how to make that. We've taught it how to make that. Okay. Oh. Duh. I'm retarded. Okay, 
I don't know why it's not working now. All right, well, give me just a second. Basically, what I did is set this pattern wrong. We did not set it up to make. Where's the item conduit? We did not set it up to make this. That was the issue. There we go. Now we put that in there. And we tell this thing to make it. There we go. Now we've got it. All right. And I don't even need a whole stack now. But we've got a whole stack. We're going to use a bunch of this. We've been using a bunch of this. Alright, so I should be able... Oh, we still got to connect it. To insert there. Insert here. We want to put speed upgrades in there. We want extract always active. We want to turn our magnet off. These should be off filling. Yeah, they're filling up. It'll probably take just a minute to get all of them full, but they will get filled up. So what are these rune stones? Oops. Did I not set this thing? I did, but I did not put <laughs> I forgot to put the filter in this thing. So that should stop making those now. And we've got our first bit of mana. Nice. So that is where we're going to call this episode. We've got living rock, living wood. Almost done. Still got to set this on. We work with a signal and emit signal when under the amount. There we go. That should not make any more. Yeah, it keeps a stack on hold here. Uh, as you can see, we've got some living stone in there also. Um, so we've got that automated. We've got mana started. I'm going to have to sit here and let watch this collect because we don't have a way of really moving mana um, from here to there until we get into sparks um, and we really need not just sparks we need augments and to get into augments we need to get to into some of the other stuff so I'm probably going to set up uh, another couple of mana pools maybe one for each one of these uh, that we can let it run and then go from there so anyways with that that's kind of where we're going to leave it we've got automation the beginnings of automation we're going to automate as much of the rest of it as we can I'm going to automate all the different ingredients we're going to automate all the different ruins and go from there. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, There's a little bit of derping, but we got it done in the end. Alright, it sucked them up. We're good. Uh, I'm probably going to eventually switch this over to red coal. Um, it's got a longer burn time, so we might be able to get more out of it for less. Uh, it doesn't cost anything extra to make the red coal other than making coal, but we do have a ton of blaze rods, so... Uh, that's what we're going to go with, at least for now. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.